the definition of happiness? Is happiness freedom to you? Because the dictionary defines it as a state of well-being or contentment. For me, happiness is what you make it. Happiness is how you choose to define it. I want to laugh when I want to laugh. I want to cry when I want to cry. And I want to express myself freely with no strings attached whatsoever. Because freedom is happiness and happiness is freedom. They cannot exist without the other. And when I say freedom, it's that many of us feel as though we're being limited, exploited, or wiped out, whether that's your physical body, <laughs> your mind, or your spirit. I went as far as to create a, I drew a collection of endangered species, not only to represent us, but to represent our great ideas that we feel like we don't have enough of, or the time we feel like we're running out of, or the fact that the natural beauty in life is being stripped away. So today, I want to talk to you about four different components of happiness that freedom ties into. Yes, life is in black and white. Sometimes we experience emotions that aren't always positive. We have our bad days, but that doesn't mean we should beat ourselves up over it because we're meant to experience emotions, right? I mean, think about it. What is life without feeling? Why do we feel good when we watch a movie? We're watching people act, but what are they doing really? They're emulating everyday life emotions, but why would we find it entertaining to watch people do things that we experience every day? It's because of our ability to relate, right? I mean, what's the significance of watching someone get married if you're not touched by it? You don't feel happy for them, angry, jealous, anything. Or if we have a horrible day, why is it that we go home and we cry or we scream or we shout or we vent to one of our friends on the phone? It's because feelings are innate. We have them. It's nature, human nature, right? So imagine if we didn't have the freedom to express it. I think that would make us feel a little bit worse, right? So even in negative emotion or a bad day, whatever it may be, the ability to express that makes us feel better may not make us feel at 100%, but it does make us feel better. Happiness is in freedom. Freedom in expression. They tie together. Yes, we all have attachment issues from time to time. And usually the culprit is instant gratification. So we have a bad day, we come home, we watch, we binge watch Netflix, we eat talenti, and it feels good just for that moment. And then when it's all over, we're like, damn, I wish I had more talenti and this show was never ending because now my world is ending all over again. But there are other things that we can become attached to, like relationships, money, popularity, drugs, sex, alcohol, the list goes on. Well, what if you gave yourself a moment to sit in silence and strip yourself of all of those things? And ask yourself, am I still happy? Think about happiness free of attachment. Sometimes we get into the motion of wanting other people to feel the way that we feel. Don't be that person. People are who they are. We were given free will. I can't stop someone from caring or not caring. Yeah, I mean, some of us were born with the innate skill of manipulation, but at that point, it's not genuine. It isn't real. You're making someone feel a specific way. Why? For your own selfish needs? Selfless happiness goes a long way, and acceptance goes an even longer way. Basing your happiness and expectation is another way of limiting yourself. It's like saying, if the mailman doesn't come with my package today, it's going to ruin my entire mood. Okay, happiness is health. Would you really want to place the fate of your health in the hands of the mailman? Okay, no, right? <laughs> you deserve more. Some people move through life so quickly they don't even realize they're unhappy. The universe works systematically. We work systematically. We can't survive independently. Balance is necessary. We have a way of inputting nutrients and outputting waste. We have mouths to speak and ears to listen. There needs to be an equal flow of input and output in every single aspect of our life. Right? Newton said it. For every output, 
every force output it doesn't equal but opposite force input meaning that for everything bad there's something good of equivalence waiting to greet you but you have to allow it to happen you have to give yourself the freedom to allow great things to happen in your life there's freedom and happiness and happiness and freedom